What's up, love? Post-Christmas blues? No. No, I was just wondering if Viv got much sleep last night. Must be the worst time when you're in the dark, alone with your thoughts. Yeah. I feel really bad. I've been so mean to that woman over the years. Oh, come on, love. Get things in perspective. Viv can be a nasty piece of work when she wants to be. Think about her run-ins with Andy. Yeah, I know, I know. Maybe I should go and see her, though. You sure that's such a good idea? I mean, you're hardly best pals. Jack, her husband's dead. The least I can do is show her some support. Yeah, I suppose. <coughs> Morning, Tiger. What do you fancy for your breakfast? I'm not that hungry. I think I'll just go out and play footy. What's up with him? Do you know, someone's been emptying the fridge over the past couple of days. I think it's Andy. Well, he's probably stuffed to the gills. Yeah, we still have to keep an eye on him. Oh, ain't she a little cracker? Famous a mother, lucky lass. <laughs> hey, she don't sleep like her, though. She woke up four times last night. <laughs> Unlike you. What's that supposed to mean? He just rolled over and went back to sleep again. <laughs> Typical fella. <laughs> but I don't mind how often she wakes up. Because she's my little gift from heaven. Oh, tell me that again after you had a couple of months of sleepless nights. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a, a little something for Baby Belle. Oh. It's a voucher for baby stuff, you oh, know. Very exciting. Well, I'm glad to see you're still as practical as ever, Zach. Don't worry, Betty. From now on, he's going to have to be. Uh, how are you going to cope? I don't mean to be awful, but you've hardly got a fortune coming in. Oh, we'll be all right. There's going to have to be big changes around here. It's me. Give us the food, son. Jack and Sarah were already up. I couldn't read the fridge while they were there. You've got to get us something. I'm starved. I'll go back later on. They'll have gone work then. How do you feel? Never felt better. I'm going for a jog later. You need to see a doctor. Oh, doctor, daft. How's it going out there? What do you think? Everyone wants to find Vic's killer. They won't look in here. What if they do? I didn't use that the other day. There's always a first time. How many more people are you planning on killing? Shut up, will ya? You gotta believe me, I never meant to hurt Vic. The daft Burke went to try and make a grab for me. I just pushed him when he fell. Dad, keep yourself up. No way. You're injured. You can't escape. I'll think of something. It's your only choice, Dad. Don't even think about it, son. You tell anyone I'm here, I'll shoot us both. I won't say out. You better not. Now go on. Get out of here. Go down to and get us some food, eh? Why the heck did they have to call her that? It's from Peter Pan. Oh, is that Lisa's favourite film, then? No, it's Zach's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. <coughs> Why don't you and me kiss some makeup, eh? Save your breath, Marlon. Oh, don't get like that. Come on. You know I would have come over to yours on Boxing Day, but we did have a bit of an emergency at home. This isn't just about our non-existent Christmas together, Marlon. It's about... Oh, it's about everything. What are you on about? Pollard, your mates, your family. I mean, even your flaming cooking comes before me. That is rubbish. Look, why should I care about this relationship when you clearly don't? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Hey, Andy. What's up, lad? Nothing. Well, it doesn't look like nothing. Just leave us alone. Is this about what I'm to Donna's dad? It must be hard to understand. 
You see, most people are good, decent folk. But the tour Rago did this to Vic, well, he's just sick in the head. He's a psycho. And thankfully, they're only one in a million. Why did he do it? It's like I say, love. Some people are born evil. It's tragic, but it's true. And I'm just so sorry that it has to touch the lives of young kids like you and Robert. What am I going to do? Stop dwelling on it, eh? You're only upsetting yourself. You don't understand. But I heck. A bit cold to go on a picnic, innit? I'm seeing a mate. Good. You'll forget about this. Go and have a laugh and a bite to eat with your pal. You're only a kid, Andy. So don't you start worrying about grown-up stuff, eh? Mum, what are you doing? It's driving me mad just sitting around. I need to be doing something. Forget about the shop. It can't stay close forever. I don't believe it. Your dad's only been dead a few days and you want to reopen the shop. I don't mean right now. It's just that we do have to think ahead. And I'm going to need your help, kids. Working in the place where my dad got killed. He must be mad. Vic would have wanted life to go on as normal. I'll get it. I can't run this place single-handed. We're all going to have to pull together. Just like normal, eh? What do you want? I just wondered if there was anything I could do to help. I don't believe this. Look, Viv, I know we've had our fallings out, but it hardly seems important at the moment. All the flaming hypocrites. Oh, just hear her out. No! She's come here to salve her guilty conscience, not to help us. Perhaps I'd better go. Yes, perhaps you'd better had. Look, I really am sorry about Vic. I, I just thought it might be useful to talk to someone outside the family. I don't believe you. That poor woman was only trying to help. All right. All right. Maybe Sarah has got a point about talking to someone outside of the family. Because most of mine don't want to listen. She's driving me up the wall. You'd hardly know my dad was dead. Oh, no, it's business as usual, like nothing has happened. We'll have our own ways of dealing with things. And your mum's way is not to give a damn. Sarah, wait! I'm sorry I was a bit short just then, but it's hard not to feel bitter right now. No, it's OK. I understand. I meant what I said, Viv. If, if you ever need to talk about Vic or, or how you're feeling... Well, there is something you could do for me. Fire away. Well, I need to choose a dress for the funeral. What exactly did you mean about us making big changes? Well, since Belle was born, we haven't exactly sat down and talked about how we're going to cope. Same as we always have. Zach, we've got a new baby. They need looking after, they need feeding, they need clothing. Hey, I'm not daft. I've had four already. Well, I haven't, and to be honest, I'm finding it all a bit scary. We're totally responsible for this little mite. Looking after kids is as easy as shelling peas. I just want to know how we're going to organise our lives around Belle. Oh, stop fussing, woman. You're only fretting because your hormones have gone berserk. Now, you'll be all right once they've calmed down. You're patronising pig. I'm serious about this, Zach. And I'll tell you another thing I'm serious about. I want you to make your peace with Paddy. That traitor betrayed us. He delivered our baby. And I'm not having Tinkerbell grow up in a, in a family that's riven with petty feuds and fallings out. I want you to make things right with Paddy. And while you're about it, I want you to tell Butch to apologise to Marlon. I'm fed up of all this warring. Sorry I was sharp with you. It's this wound, I keep having fevers and I, and I talk daft. When I said, I, I didn't mean it, I, I'd never hurt you. Sorry. Don't worry, everything will be all right. How would you figure that out? So wait till the dust settles. Police will clear off in a bit. And I'll feel better and you and me will glide quietly out of here. Get a ferry from home. Dad, you're dreaming. Listen, 
Once we get to Amsterdam, I've got my driving job. Oh, give yourself up. If you did that, I'd be dead proud of you. You'll be proud of me when we get to Holland. We'll have a great time. We will be so happy there. All right. Good kid. You trust your old man. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll best get back. See you later. Excuse me a sec. Why are you sitting all by yourself? I had to get out of the house. Viv's driving me nuts. It's like nothing's happened with her. No, being in that house. Well, come and stay with me. <coughs> nah, better not. Dad had wanted us to stick together. So laughing at the winds of family sticking together. Kelly, it must be so hard for you. Listen, don't worry about work. I have a temp in. You just take as long as you need. Thanks, Sammy. Look, I must dash. Um, you will come round, eh? We'll have a good chat and a glass of wine. Yeah, that'd be nice. Can I have a quick word? Uh, I suppose so. Thanks for everything you did with Tinkerbell. Ah, nothing. Um, Mandy, there's something I have to tell you. I realise now that what Butch said about you two sleeping together was a lie. Huh? I know, and I feel a complete idiot for, for believing it in the start, and I... I, I apologise from the bottom of my heart. Oh, Pat, that's all I wanted to hear. Friends, then. More than friends. Hello, son. Hey, if you're at a loose end, you can help us load this lock. My dad's back. Oh. Why can't he just leave you alone? Silly Pratt will get picked up for skipping his parole and just make things harder. Jack, he killed Vic. What? He killed him. My God, Andy. What are you saying? It was an accident. He didn't mean for it to happen. Don't tell the police. If, if the coppers go up there, I swear he'll top himself. <laughs> How bad is your dad's wound, Andy? He's in a lot of pain. And where exactly is he in the house? You go up there. He'll do something stupid. Come on, son. I'm not your son. Andy, your dad's in big trouble and there's no escape. And we all want to see him come out of this safely. Help the police, lad. He's downstairs in the front room. He won't be moving much because of his wound. Is there anything else you want to tell me? He's got a gun. When you last saw your dad, how do you think he was feeling? How do you think? I'm desperate. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. It was your house. Could you come along and give us an idea about the layout? Yeah? It's not safe. You can stay here with me. I want to see me dad. Let the police sort it out, eh? They know what they're doing. I need to see him. I need to talk to him. You can do that later. In the meantime, you stay well away. You all right? We had some good times with Dad. Yeah. But I only ever gave him a hard time. Oh, don't be silly, Kelly. It's true. And no matter how much of a little cow I was, he always stuck up for me. We well, you knew that you loved him. I didn't show it much, though, did I? You're showing it now. But now it's too late. If only he hadn't come back across here. Sick. There we were, enjoying ourselves, not giving Dad a second thought whilst he was lying dead. 
off me. I didn't mean it like that. We were going to have to talk about it sooner or later, you know? Our relationship. Why not now? We're never going to discuss it. Because as far as I'm concerned, nothing ever happened. Oh, afternoon, lad. I've been looking for you. What for? Oh, I want to tell you something. I've delivered pigs, me. And an horse. And this might surprise you. But I also helped out when both Gina and Butch were born. Right. Well, uh, the point I'm making is, even if you hadn't been there with Lisa, I could have coped. But you were there. Yeah. Zachy, are you trying to thank me? We have a pint? Yeah, I say no. Thank you. Uh, another one, please, Alan. Well, that's settled then. I've said thanks. Well, not in so many words, Zach, but. Oh, fire, lad. Do you want jam on it? Make that half, Alan. Marlon. I've been thinking. I'm sorry I hurt you. I just sort of snapped. I hope it ain't gonna happen again. Yeah, well, instead of lashing out, I should have... Well, I should have just listened to what you had to say about me and Mandy. So... Look, I've got to see someone. Uh, Where's he going? I don't know. Hey. Have you apologised to him? I think so. What about you, him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. Well, there's nothing much to tell, really. It's just a bit like delivering a pig, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you're marvellous. You are? You! Calmly delivering babies at the drop of a nap. I think you're great. Ta. <laughs> See out. No sign of movement. Where's the other exit? Just there at the left of the house. How many internal doors lead into the living room? You're not thinking of storming him, are you? Dunno. Have to see what sort of shape by Billy's in. Well, I hope we get him out alive for Andy's sake. <gasps> so what Paddy sees in her. She could be a good laugh, but she's got a gob on her the size of a pothole. Looking for you. I've got someone to talk. No, thank you. Maybe we could make a fresh start. Eh? Could go away somewhere for New Year's Eve. What do you reckon? Can't you get it through your thick skull? We're finished. No more kaput. Do you understand? I think I deserve a second chance. Oh, no, you don't. By the way, I'm already busy on New Year's Eve. There's a party in Hartland, and I for a fat bill. I'll already be too loud to say fancy me. When? Now, if you don't mind, I'm just off to enjoy the rest of my life. I think that was a no. So you're going to stop for another one? Yeah, go on, I'll have a large one. Trisha, two more, please. Look, I'm really glad that Butch told me that he lied about you two sleeping together. Come again? What? What did you just say? It's something the matter. You're the flaming is. What you're saying is, you didn't believe me when I denied it all. What? Uh. No, it's not that I don't believe you. It, it, well, it's more that... <clears throat> oh, flipping it. Look, this is really going really well at the moment, so just let me get two more drinks and we'll have a proper discussion about it. Go to El Paddy. There you are. Good day at the office, darling. Go ball your bum. Woohoo! I'm not in a mood. I'm serious about splitting up. To be honest, Marlon, it's only been a matter of time. What are you on about? Oh, come on, you did treat her like rubbish. I did not! No, you did. What did you do over Christmas? You spent time with your mates and your family and you only fit linen when you could be bothered. You know that he's right, Marlon. I had a lot on my plate! Yeah. Oh, maybe I did take her a bit for granted. 
Look, if you want Lynn back, you got to treat her as a girlfriend, not as a mate. Spoiler. Like oh. oh, do I have to work out everything for you? I, I don't know. Just make a big fuss out of her. Show her that you care. You sure he's still in there? Oh, if his lad's right, he's got a serious untreated stab wound. He can't go far. What the hell's he doing here? Dad! Get him out of there! Come on! Come on, Come on, Wes! Get the lad out of the way and try and calm him down. I've killed me, Dad! Dad! What are you gonna do now, then? Wait. We've heard the shot, he's killed himself. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Butch, hey, give us a hand changing, Belle. Oh, yeah. No bother. Did you make it right with Paddy? Yeah, I bought him a fight. About half. He delivers our child all by himself on a freezing cold winter's night, and all you can do is repay him with a pint. Yeah, well, I could have delivered to him all just as easily. You could, but you didn't. Paddy did. You should be grateful to him for the rest of your life. I am sick of you and your stupid feuds. Yeah, and I'm sick of you. Hey? Ever since Bell arrived, you've done nothing but talk about changing everything round here. But you won't say what? I reckon it's high time you let me in on your little secrets. Time enough for that. I want you to tell me how you propose to properly make it up with Baddy. Look, I'm a proud man, Lisa. I've said thank you to him once. I'm not going back crawling on my belly. Your stupid brag gets in the way of everything, it seems. Yeah, well, you knew what you were taking on when you married me. Did I? Yeah, what you see is what you get. Hey, you two. Shush. You'll wake up Tinkerbell. I don't flaming care. What the hell's going on? Oh my God, it's Andy. That's my son. Hey, up! Shut his bottom window. Oh my God, it was him. He did it! <laughs> you turned your own father in. I thought you just killed yourself. I nearly did, but I'm glad I didn't have the bottle. Now I've got some unfinished business. What do you mean? If you watch yourself, son, I'll be back. Get him in the beer. It's all your fault, you little vermin! Come on, Finn! Oh, get your hands off me! Thanks to your family! <laughs> 